Okay, we're back with another song analysis video, and this one I'm really excited to do. I actually don't know why I didn't do uh, one of the songs, uh, this should have been my first video, because this song is by my favorite artist of all time in any genre of music. Styles P is my favorite musician ever. You'll never hear me say anybody else is my favorite. Styles P has always been my favorite since, ooh, I would say it was around... 98 99 around that time that he started becoming my favorite i always liked him he was always one of my favorites um and then some of the uh songs he released on some of those mixtapes and uh the the, the locks the second album there really pushed him over and then gangster and a gentleman changed my life my favorite album of all time styles p the ghost panero holiday whatever you want to call him he's put out content for a long time He's probably going on 25 years. I started first hearing about him in 96, so that would be like 23 right there, and I'm sure he was bubbling before then. Um, Styles P never disappoints me. He can, he, can be, he can make the hardest song. He can make the most thoughtful song. He can make any kind of song, and he's su such an intelligent man. And I picked this song, actually, which is not from Gangster and a Gentleman. I picked this song from his second album, uh, Time Is Money, and uh, it was released December 19th, 2006, after several pushbacks. Man, I kept waiting and waiting and waiting, and they just finally it got released, and I was so happy, and it didn't disappoint. I mean, nothing could ever match up to a gangster gentleman, but this is, I don't think there's a bad song on this album either. This is just really great. But my favorite song from the album was track number 12, Leave a Message, and it was produced by legendary producer Dame Grease. If you don't know Dame Grease, man, you really are missing out. He produced like 13 of the 19 songs on DMX's first album. He produced so much for the locks, a lot for Rough Riders and everything. And he always has that uh, hardcore street sound, but also a mainstream sound. And he doesn't use a very, I don't think he ever used samples, probably once in a while but very rarely does he use samples. So this song is um, it's called Leave a Message and it's basically Styles leaving a message for people in his life and for the world in general and just being a wise mentor and just really having a broad look, outlook on the way the world is and what he sees uh, throughout his, um, you know, his excursions through the streets and whatnot okay so at the beginning he said he starts talking he's like this is street life you know shit, shit's a motherfucker you know i try to tell these shorties something and they look at me like what the fuck you're worse than me and Styles says hey don't listen to the message or just listen to the message don't listen to the messenger you know like don't listen to the just because he's done so much dirt in his days just listen to what he's saying not to what he has done don't do what he does, do what he says. One of those kind of things, right? And the beat is just slapping. It's really, really, really good. And then, so he starts off with the first verse. This one is, uh, he really talks to people that are really close to him, family and really close friends. And uh, he goes, a message to my son. It's times in my life when I stood around to fight when it was better off to run. Styles P's always been known to be hard-headed and he's never wanted to back down from a scrap, but... There's been times, I guess, he's been outnumbered, and he still fought, and he wants his son to learn from his mistakes. Uh, a message to my daughter, daddy ain't make you, but, but uh, sometimes in life, blood ain't thicker than water, because it was his stepdaughter, who unfortunately, uh, my condolences, she, she passed uh, recently. Um, so, like, his wife had a child before they got together, and uh, he was very close, and he was saying, like, how much he loves her, and just because um, they weren't blood, it's not, you know, it's still more important. It's still his daughter. And uh, what a great line there. A message to my wife. I gotta say I love you and thank you for making shit better in my life. A message to my moms. Don't worry about your kids because love is always love when we in God's arms. A uh, message to my pop. My head's on my shoulders and I'm taking care of family and never will it stop. He's always on his grind. He's always making sure his family and close ones are well taken care of. Um, unfortunately, uh... I believe his, his father is no longer with us either. Um, poor Styles had, has had a lot of trauma in his life, obviously. Just listen to Gangster and Gentleman. Wow, that'll blow you away. And then, um, okay, he's taking care of it. Never will stop. Message to my sister. 
Your big brother got you, but never in life let a coward ever twist you. So he's saying, make sure he's he's always gonna have her back, and he's always gonna stand up for her. But don't make dumb decisions because he doesn't want to have to step in. He'd rather her just make the right decisions. And he also did have a brother, uh, Gary. And um, if you listen to the song off Gangster and Gentleman, my brother, it is a very touching song to Gary, who is also uh, deceased, unfortunately. Um, so then he goes. Uh, a message to my homies when it comes to the hood who in the fuck in the world could do it better than my homies and then a message to my group the locks we got it we made it because nobody in the world sound better in the booth and what loyalty how many actual rap groups or even just duos have actually stayed together as long as the locks is man not too many people have loyalty like that without egos getting in the way and everything else in life they're still doing their thing at least Someone confirmed for me, but it's got to be 24, probably 25 years now. So should, should we not have a Locks 25th anniversary tour coming up? I think so. And then, so that's the first verse. And then he goes, "If I don't, the chorus is just him saying, if I don't pick up a me, if I don't pick up, just leave me a message. I don't pick up, just leave me a message. I'm gone right now. If I don't pick up, just leave me a message. I don't pick up, just leave me a message. It's on right now. And then he says that twice. And it also has the beep from the answering machine. And then he comes in with a, a really smart uh, second verse, a message to the jail. I don't really write because it's hard for him to say, keep your head up through the mail. So all his brothers that are locked up, please forgive him. He's, he's also done time in his life as well, but he doesn't like to write because he's like, it's hard for him to say, keep your head up through the mail. Very straight to the point there. A message to the poor that's stressed in the life. What we don't get now, we get in the second life. So keep your faith. Uh, material things is not all that matters. And uh, it's going to come full circle for you, you know. Um, a message to the kids, stick to your school, because if you fuck with the street, that's jail or a bid. Like, you know, everyone wants to be hard and act like the people, that the drug dealers on their block. And he's saying, you know, like, that is not going to turn out good, right? Okay. A message to the wild, you should calm down, because everybody's ratting and you probably broke bro trial. So don't do stupid shit, because you're going to get caught for it. And um, a message to the ladies, depend on yourself, so if daddy'd walk out, you take care of the baby. And being a single father myself, I mean, I think that goes both ways. Great rhyme here, though. Obviously, we get what he's saying. Um, you know, you, gotta, you, gotta, you can't depend on anybody, right? Uh, a message to the rich, you should spread love for a person like him. Go ahead and spread clips. So he's basically saying, you know, like, the poor might have to revolt at some point, and if the rich is not going to spread their wealth, and try and make the world a better place, then someone's going to take that from them and do the right thing. Okay, a message to the hood, shit is bad now, but we going to be all right because it's going to be good. It's soon to be good. So <clears throat> don't worry, like there's people out there like him that are giving back to the communities. He, he also has the juice bars now, and they're going to try and make some local stores, and, and they're building up the hood. Like They don't want it to be what the way they, when they uh, grew up. All right, and then um, a message to the world, I don't give a fuck, peaks, he smokes till he high and he drink till he hurls. S -s Plain and simple. He doesn't care what people say. He's going to do things his way. And obviously it's been working for him. So whatever he's doing, stick to it. Okay. And then they go to the chorus again. And um, then this third verse really blows me away. Like the other two are real solid. But this one is really just a... a to me it just shows how smart that Styles P is. And the way he he's seeing things on another level than a lot of other people... And I also just, before I start this third verse, I also got to say, um, Styles P answered me in a couple of Twitter exchanges about three years ago, and it was probably the biggest uh, mark out moment of my life, which mark out just means like being a fan of someone and just, man, so he was talking about something about how uh, sometimes he raps off beat because he doesn't write down his rhymes, and I was saying like, what is your writing process? I have them screenshot, I don't know how I'm going to put them up, but... Um, and he was like, oh, I just, you know, I like to smoke a blunt and like sit in the dark and listen to the beat and vibe. And, and I was like, well, that's cool to know that some of my favorite verses were made that way. And then he was like, he was so humble. He was like, oh man, like, uh, he appreciated it and everything. And that was one of the best days of my life. Styles P, uh, answered me back like three times on Twitter. So, uh, thank you for that. And, uh, so, and like, when I, there's a, leave a messages on YouTube. I found it twice on YouTube. And uh, go and support the artist, obviously, but, you know, it's YouTube is YouTube, so if you, if you need to listen to it, there it is. And there's a lot of people in the comments that are saying, like, we need more songs like this from Styles P. I thought he was always just doing the kill him up, shoot, shoot him up, kill him up songs. Like, where have you been? 
Styles P has made so many smart songs, like, just on his first two... Look at Gangster and Gentleman. There's like seven songs that are not even close to being that. He's just so well-rounded. He can talk about any subject, and uh, he should be a life coach. He should be doing speaking. I could really see him doing uh, like as well as a motivational speaker. He's just very smart, and he sees things. He's been through it all to know from experience to tell you what to do and what not to do. And uh, the third verse kind of goes into that route. So he says, there's many ways they can send you a message, like a word for the wise or a 45 that can send you to heaven. Okay. Some will throw you a look, others a book, like the king getting killed by the rook. <laughs> the king getting killed by the rook, straightforward. Obviously, that's the way the rook moves, side to side or straight, back and forth, vertical or horizontal. I'm stuttering. I'm just like so proud to be doing a video about Styles P. Uh, whatever, you guys can make fun of me. I don't care, man. Styles P is the man. And this is how I get. I get giddy when I hear new songs from him and they make me feel like this. Like he's. He's like the soundtrack to my life. Like when I was coming up as a young wrestler and, you know, I was in that grind, he motivated me a lot. Like Styles P, I was like, I want to beat him. I want to hustle to get to where he is in the music of me and wrestling. And, uh, okay, so it's straightforward. Some will grab their soul when they feel like the Lord's calling. Some see it before they come. My homie, one is all and one is all. One is all and all is one. Uh, I want to see us all rich before all is done, but it's really God's call because we all his sons. So he's going to play his role. Hope God saves his soul and let him slide for the sins I owe. I mean, I don't really think i got to explain anything. There's not, not a lot of hidden messages in this. He's like the rook, straightforward. He's telling it to you the way it is. Obviously, Styles has, has, has faith. He's, he's a believer. And he's, you know, he, he has, it's in his soul and you can just tell by listening to him. And okay... He hopes God's going to let him slide for the sins he owes. Pain and more pain is the only change I know. So if he ain't experiencing pain, then he's just experiencing more pain. Like, that's life. That's pain. Uh, okay. The brain stays in the frame. And if he's in the game, he blows. Either his watch is broke or my lame ass slow. I didn't know if he said late, if his late, his lame ass is slow or his lane is slow. But obviously he's saying... He's going to stay in the frame, he's in the game, he's going to do well. If he's in the game, he's he's going to blow, he's going to do good for himself. And, he, you know, he doesn't worry about time, he's just, he's hustling, he's getting it, like, his watch is broke, doesn't matter. Like, that's how I take it. Please correct me if, uh, if you took it a different way, or he means something else by it, then I want to know, I need to know. Okay, and then the last line, but he's going to count his blessings till he gets to the essence, it's all good, just send me a message. What? And then, uh, Goes back to the chorus, if I don't pick up, just leave me a message, I don't pick up, just leave me a message, I'm gone right now. If I don't pick up, just leave me a message, I don't pick up, just leave me a message, it's on right now. Uh, and then and then it kind of takes parts from the verses, and it's like, in the outro, where it's like, a message to the jail, 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 a message to the poor, a message to the kids, a message to the wild. And uh, I'm going to leave Styles P a message, I'm going to just say, Styles P, thank you for making such great music throughout your entire career still up to this day i caught the new album i was really uh, really happy with it and uh just thank you for uh being an inspiration and putting out great content and relatable stuff that i can really relate to i think anybody in the world could relate to styles p no matter the way they grew up or what country they're from or anything and uh so i want to hear from you guys also let me know like did i did some of these lyric sites are not, you know, the internet. Maybe, maybe Dame Grease didn't produce it. That's what I'm just reading on, like, the Wikipedia and stuff like that. I mean, I used to have the CD booklet, but I can't find it. It's probably somewhere in storage where I could actually look through the, uh, the credits and whatnot. But, uh, you know, I just try to get these, pumping these videos out. But, uh, throw back to my wrestling days. Liker, you get a leg drop. Commenter, you get a clothesline. Subscriber, you get a suplex. Thank you for watching another video, and re remember, if you have a request, put it in the comments, and I'll try and get to your uh, song that you like.